sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares. The positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself. And overall, the positive way you show up on the planet. Now, let's get in there. I like swimwear. Now, stars, let me just tell you this. I know that it's a constant battle, right? The higher you get in your ascension process, okay? The more these people are going to start exposing themselves. The hurtful thing, okay, is you're going to realize that it's people that you consider near and dear to your heart. Now, these, this, will, this is not going to be uh, a surprise for a lot of you because you've been being mistreated by these individuals your whole life. However, social norms... Okay, the status quo, the indoctrination that we came in in this plane with is telling us that we have to trust these people. We have to have loyalty to these people. This is why a lot of spiritualists take the left hand path. And when I say left hand path, I mean the path that is not normally traveled. Okay. When they go low, you go high. And that's how you beat it. That's how you beat it. You have to learn how to control your anger. All right? We have a soul contract here. Now, for some of, for some of you, you could be entrepreneurs, but this is masculine energy I'm picking up here, okay? So, if you are a woman, okay, you balanced your energy, you stepped up on this throne. OK, if you are a male, you have uh, a soul contract. This could be friends, families, uh, ex lovers, children, mothers, grandparents or whatever. OK, these people are now coming after you because you stopped taking care of them. Some of you is like, how, how, how is this? How is this? Okay, how it works is when you are an empath, a high priest, a high priestess, and you're on that higher vibration, you're not, you're not going low. You're not going low. These people have drained you. you. You'll start to notice, right? When you separate yourself from these individuals, their finances start going bad. I don't care if you've been poor your whole life. When you ascend... And you wipe that sleep from your third eye. You start you start recognizing um, some things. Now the 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 path is about faith. You have to surrender to the divine. You have to trust that the divine is going to take care of you. A lot of us confess that with our mouths, but we don't actually believe in that. Okay. So here we have. I'm here in the Sangoma. All right. So let me just tell you this. A lot of people watch my readings. These are be people that have been skilled in manipulation their whole lives. They may have been doing dark magic, slander, corruption their whole life, and it's been hidden. Okay. But what's happening is these people watch readers and they get hyped when they hear their energy. They feel like they're so powerful. But the thing about it is if the readers is picking up on this energy, they're not more powerful than the readers. OK, if you've been guided to my readings, you are more powerful than them. OK, your ancestors is guiding you. Have courage. Somebody there. Somebody's look at this. Somebody's upset because something's coming to an end. Possibly somebody's life. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. Right. Because that's what I do. You could just be a, a regular person. Working a nine to five. And in and, and a, and a reading pops up on your timeline or you start seeing number synchronicities on receipts, on your stove, on your microwave. This this is the way the energy plays out. OK, some of you, you may have you may realize that my readings two, two, three years ago are resonating now is because you have wait awoken. Some of you, you had to lose these people to realize what is going on. This is this is nothing new. Everybody that walks this path has to go through that. It's a process. Somebody was trying to affect your mental health. Okay. 
I'm hearing your endocrine system. Somebody has a blood disorder, sickle cell, or something like that. All right. We have a couple here. This this could be an actual couple that is in an unrequited love situation, something that's not covered by the divine. But there's children here. All right. This can be this emperor's children. This could be your children that you have with someone else. Or this could be if you don't have children, you have to realize whatever you are investing in, whatever the divine is guiding you to invest in is going to put you in celebrity status okay or it's going is it's going to be groundbreaking some of you may be opening up an actual business here somebody's very egotistical you could be a gemini they could be a gemini leo aquarius virgo cancer this emperor has either um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart, or this is somebody that's following their intuition. This is somebody that's balanced, whether if it's a male or female. Okay, some of you, your divine counterparts are celebrities, are content creators, influencers, or something like that. That's the energy I'm going to pick up on because that's the energy I'm in. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. We have the Ring of Fire. Okay, somebody had a choice in the past here. To ascend this person possibly you or them um somebody had a celebrity status in the past okay they had a lot of responsibilities they had a choice to either step up at that moment or continue to learn lessons for some of you this person continued to learn uh, they had to learn their lesson because at that point they had already had uh, celebrity status, wealth, and this, you know, all type of things. They had all type of uh, illusions, seven, seven of cups energy. So whoever this is, they had to lose that. They had to fall some. And for some of you, these people, these family and friends, for some of you, even co-workers, were, were working behind this emperor back, behind your back, okay? Some of you may have experienced a little decline in your uh, your finances here, okay? Because it's like a group, a collective of people. These may be people that you know. These may be people that you don't know. But what's happening is they're definitely attacking readers. But see, this is the chosen path. When people say chosen one, what are you chosen for? It's not just about, oh, I'm going to get my divine counterpart and we're going to run off in the sunset and everything is going to be happy. No, this is a spiritual battle. We're in spiritual warfare. These entities are taking over individuals. You can see it on the news. Very heartbreaking. Okay. It's mother against child, child against mother and father and things of that sort. That is the signs of the times. This is the things that are spoken about in the Bible. And I don't believe 100% of the Bible. Okay. Again, I'm an omnius. I notice now that I've said that publicly, I have a, there's a lot of people that want to mimic me that want to claim that they are omnius as well. Okay. But the thing about it is before I even got on this platform, I was introduced to these entities, these deities and things of that sort during my dark night of the soul, because I grew up Christian. Okay. I sang in the choir. My father was a deacon. He played the drums and things of that sort for me. To, so for me to even come to this table and do this type of work, I had to go through my dark night of the soul. Now I'm a cancer son and rising as a, and a Virgo moon. I'm a very nurturing and caring person. I didn't know I was an empath until I got up in my age. Okay. I didn't know nothing about empath. I've always been into astrology, but there was a contradiction there. And I had to go on, off on my own because the people that were uh, hidden enemies, okay, they were obstacles that were placed. You're still going to have love for these people because a kind hearted, good hearted person is going to have love for friends and family, but the love is not reciprocated. These are broken contracts here, okay? So this emperor took a risk in the past. They gambled, okay? This is somebody that, that did not follow their intuition. For a lot of you, your divine masculine or your masculine, your higher level soulmate, they knew that there was a connection there, but there was in something that was unrequited, okay? No risk, no fun. So for those of you that know that this is not a couple that you're dealing with, this is your exes. 
Okay, for some of you, they may know each other. For some of you, they may not. But here, somebody's trying to mask themselves in your light. They're trying to think of creative ways uh, to energy harvest. And this is why some of you feel drained. Now, I'm going to say this to you. Okay. When you feel that energy, you have to start doing your spiritual practices. You have to research. Because I can tell you all day long what to do, but you have to trust your intuition. And that's the test there. I didn't already told you you're more powerful than these people. Some of you, I'm hearing that you're homeless and, and, and you done lost everything. I've been there. I've been there. Hear what I'm trying to tell you. Somebody need to leave the past behind. It's stagnant energy. Some of you, you still have the energy of karmic soulmates on you, even if you are alone. For some of you, these are people that you have children with. For some of you, these are your children. Either yours or somebody that's manipulating your energy. We have disassociative identity disorder, a strong emotion, stress, memories, substance abuse, childhood trauma. These are all the things that you need to leave behind okay somebody has a personality disorder somebody can't tell the light from the dark or because possibly there's connections here this is family this is why it's so hard i'm, I'm hearing the devil came to steal kill and destroy to separate and this this is indeed what's happening the devil used anybody against you to see you depressed to see you left out in the cold. These individuals wanted people to walk away from you. And at this and, and at this point, for some of y'all, is, is your life or theirs? Okay? Now, this reading is not going to resonate with everybody because some people have loving and caring children and family. But what I'm talk, who I'm talking to is the elect ones. These is old souls here that have a lot of karmic debt. A lot of reincarnation. Some of you, you having dreams of past lives, different races, different timelines. You have to trust your intuition. And so we have it. Some of y'all know this is just my you know, he, he, ow, card. This is a tarot reader or somebody that does divination. You may not know that this person does divination. They're energy harvesting. Okay. So somebody made a deal. Make sure to check out that last reading. We have a business deal goes bad, low profit margin. Someone gets taken for a ride, a lick. This is somebody that teaches a class. Somebody that teaches a, a class, okay? You could be a health instructor. They could teach. Well, I'm hearing something about mental health, okay? Of course, because we have the disassociative identity disorder. Some of y'all need to, to look that up. This is somebody that takes on the energy of a lot of different people. This could also be somebody watching collective readings, collective readers, and this this energy could be affecting a collective of people. For some of you, you work with these individuals. These are people that pull cards or they do divination. I'm also hearing necromancy. So, in a sense, the divine is dangling you like a carrot, okay, in front of these people so they can receive their karma. You have to trust your instincts. Why is the low profit margin here as if we don't know? Either show me. And the cold part about it is some of these people call my energy to do their readings. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it for y'all to see. They're going to do it before they come on the camera. But you're going to know you're, you're going to start noticing things because these people are going in crazy. They're going insane. Whatever they did, it comes back around. Okay? The cycle has to be completed. These are people that are codependent. Okay? If they wanted your family to leave, their family's leaving. If they wanted you to get kicked out, they're getting kicked out. I'm hearing something about relocation. We have a major achievement here. So, yeah, whatever they tried to do, Okay, it, it just set them up for a downfall. This person tried to set you up. We got office politics card. We got the gator crop. So this is somebody that has connections to the South. You could have connections to the South or something like that. They did something three or more times. This could be three of y'all. My apologies. Okay, but we got the gator crop, right? This is somebody that did something three or more times. Okay, working with three or more people to send distorted energy. 
okay? I'm hearing the power of three. For some of you, these are tarot readers. We got the Holy Trinity, Ka, life force energy, soul snatching. We got personality here. Person, these people have a personality disorder. They think they are you. I'm just going to keep it 100. For some of you, this is your mother. This could be a child's mother. Or this could be the matriarch here. Okay, somebody may have one or two people, please. But this is, the, this is a marriage here with the aunt being here. Okay, these people didn't want you to heal. They wish death on you. They wish death on your finances. They did some sort of binding magic. Okay, we have somebody that's soulless. They, they're, it's, they're a host here, like a, a, you know, what is that? A praying mantis. You know how they, they get in and they start walking and the head be that, that, that's what this is. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to believe, but that's what this is. Okay, this is a corpse. This is a mummy. Some of you, you have connection to the uh, to to Nintiru, the the Netaru, okay, ancient Egyptian. Some some of you, that's how old your soul is, or your your legacy is, okay. So this is a dark witch for some of y'all that y'all are dealing with, okay. This is somebody that takes pleasure in other people's pain. Why is the sun card here, please? For some of you, this person didn't want to risk their family, okay? They may have even promised their mother something. But a smart, a smart person is going to realize, why do these people not want me with this person? And for some of you, this made this person even more attracted to you. We got the abominable snow cat. Wolf puss. Someone you know or someone sitting next to you. That's pretty self-explanatory here. For some of you, it could be a Leo, but others of you, this is, and or others of you, this is representing the family, your heart space, people that you love here. What do we need to know about the wolf puss? Could be a Taurus involved. Labels. So this person was worried about a label. They wanted the throne, okay? Somebody may be, somebody may have stole a title. Okay, now that title could be actual, uh, like a car, or they wanted they wanted to be the divine feminine here. This is why this person, or divine masculine, this is why this person took so many risks here because of labels. Some of you, you're dealing with a, a swinger. Some of you, the pink flamingo could be a totem animal for you. Okay, but this is simply saying your worth shouldn't be determined by who you have by your side. Effortless grace. You are the light of this world. Somebody is a healer here. So they don't like the fact that you didn't uh, go low with them. This is somebody's ex or wife or child's mother, father. Take it how it resonates here. Okay, they wanted these people around you, their friends, their family members to think that you wanted to be them. But with this car being here, you're a self-starter, you're self-made here. <clears throat> this person knows that you are their equal here. This is a this is a spiritual marriage. This is something, a contract that you came here with this person. This is why it can't be broken. Despite any label that's created on paper, which is another ritual. Why is labels here? We got somebody in the aromatic state. Okay, this is some. This is a soulless being. This is somebody that uses sex as a weapon. This person opened up some sort of portal. Okay, they're delusional here because of all the spell work that they're doing with no protection. Their ancestors don't even. They, their ancestors ain't got nothing to do with this. OK, so this is why for some of you, you may be seeing your family members eyes go dark. OK, for some of you, you you gave birth to karmics. I mean, I know it's hurt, hurtful, but when you reach a certain level of spirituality, you'll get it. I'm hearing it's on the other side. It's on the other side. The truth is on the other side. Why is Virgo here? Some of you, you real sensitive. I'm hearing sensitive sensitivity to meat. Okay. We got skill manipulation. So this is somebody that's getting in your ear or somebody else's ear around you. And they're manipulating so, some sort of narrative here. Okay. This is somebody that comes in your face and smiles and acts like everything is good. But behind your back, they're doing stuff to, to affect your mental health. Yesterday... What's today? Today is Monday. You know, they possibly went to the crossroads. But yesterday, it was so much manipulation happening. 
okay? So much, okay? I, I felt like the, the time, the, the, the time warp or a time loop trying to be placed on me. I sent that shit back so quick. This, these people probably then I don't know what happened to them, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it like that. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. So they keep doing it. Keep doing it and watching. If you don't have a platform, they're watching readings. They're looking for your sign to see what's happening in your life but there's confusion here with mind with the mind car coming up they're they're confused here because they can't even it's like the divine is not giving them access to the information that they need for some of you these people are the reader is pulling up their energy okay a lot of readers do not say this could resonate with you or somebody in your environment or, or um, a cross watcher. A lot of readers don't say that. OK, some of them may not know that some of them may not believe that. But this this that's what it picks up on. It picks on the it picks up on the energy of people trying to manipulate you or manipulate a situation. So for some of you, you say, oh, that's not me. It's not me. OK, that's you know that it's not you. You don't have to prove that to nobody. That's why you have to let go. That, that's the test there. You have to give it, to, you know, some of you don't believe in God, but you have to give it to God. You have to give it to a higher power. And you just have to keep continuing to walk in your purpose, in your light here. Because when you start, don't, when you start uh, going toe-to-toe toe -to -toe with these people, they so low, you're not going to do the things that these people are capable of. So you have to. You have to. And they know what they're capable of because they sat back and watched and looked at readings and even gotten readings from other low vibrational readers. And these people knew who the true person was, but they didn't. They want money. I'm here and sacrifice their divinity. Why is mistakes are proof you are trying? Why is this here, please? Trickery. So they're arguing. So every time they, they send out this negative energy, there's some sort of argument, some sort of chaos and conflict that happens in their own home or in their own environment. I'm hearing somebody is arguing with their neighbors because for some of you, these people are so skilled. They have protection around them. But if they're trying to manipulate your neighbors, your environment is going to come back to them. So be mindful of that some of you, you may see somebody arguing. Um, in your neighborhood. I'm hearing today. This reading is time. Whenever you click, click on this reading because it keeps stopping. Okay. This reading is going to resonate for, with you. I don't care if it's a, uh, two or three years from now. But what's happening is these people that are gang stalking you, they're arguing here because they're losing out. Okay. Somebody could be arguing with somebody that they hired with the tarot reading card being here. But, um, you know, and or they're getting on the phone here. Because this is like a group of people. They're getting on the phone and they're arguing here because people are losing. If these are readers and they're reading for these people, they're, they're losing views. They're getting unexpected bills. We have the waning crescent. Now, I'm not sure. I think that was yesterday, but it could be today. We have in, an increase in the manifestation. Time to clean house. Psychic fertility. Yeah. Okay, so for some of you, you resonated with that last reading. You felt the energy. You possibly did some sort of cleansing. Some of you need to do cleansing work. For others of you, these are readers and they can't cleanse that energy because they did some sort of binding. Now it's binded to them. Okay. Psychic fertility. Why is this here? Yeah. Wayne and Gibbous, that could be the phase that we are in, but something is coming um, full, full sight, full, you know, full circle. It says release bad habits, stressful situations and negative thinking. For some of you, they th this is the people that's that's watching me, obviously. OK, they need to let go of this negative energy. They keep doing something and it's, it's attacking their finances here. OK. If these are people that have jobs, they're arguing at their workplace here. Somebody could be getting fired. OK, somebody doesn't like the fact that you manifest with the light. These are people that uses they use dark to manifest. These are also people that do a lot of candle magic. 
Okay, the nighttime or when it starts, the sun starts to go down. That's when you you're gonna kind of feel it. But others of you, these people work Monday through Friday, so it gets more intense during the weekend because they sit back and stock and watch. On the flip side, if you're a reader, you possibly don't know these people. But what's happening is they're getting mad, okay, because you're picking up on their energy and they start psychic attacking you. OK, there was some sort of truth spoken about an incestuous, 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 I can't even say the damn word. OK, a Virgo could have spoke this. This could be a Virgo that's doing this or this happened to a Virgo as well as a Sagittarius. OK, somebody didn't want you to be free. OK, for some of you, there is you spoke some sort of truth about incest, possibly molestation and things of that sort here. OK, and their family got mad. OK, yeah, because whatever they were hiding came out. Now, this could be somebody, your family, their family. You could be a reader and you and you picked up on this energy and they started spiritually attacking you. OK, and now, you know, some of y'all, y'all need to realize, right? This energy is older than you think. This energy is older than before common era. Some of you, your souls are older than before common era. So you're being tested right now. Do you listen to your ancestors or do you listen to what man told you? Somebody needs to be honest here about their involvement. Somebody could be on the run. This, yeah, we got a Knight of Wands energy. This could be a younger dog. If this is somebody that's older, they have, uh, you know, they go from pillar to post. They like to keep moving here. This could be somebody's child's father. Okay, I'm hearing child's mother or a wife that's involved here. They could be having some issues with their stomach. I don't trust you. You don't trust this person. The person that they're with, they don't trust. Somebody needs to find out the truth about their relationship. Psychic connection. Some of you, you need to start listening to 852 hertz. Some of you, you need to get a pendulum. And when you use that pendulum, you got to make sure you have hertz playing. Okay, so you can get an accurate reading. So this person is receiving harsh judgment and karma. You could be a Virgo. This is happening to you. You could be any sign, but this is definitely speaking about a Virgo, most definitely, and a Sagittarius. Somebody needs to release a bad habit. They need to speak some sort of truth here. Somebody knows that they are a product of incest is what I'm getting here. Somebody could have got upset because that truth was exposed. No risk, no fun. I'm being told to put one on there. A lot of moon activity. We got, I do declare there's something in the air. I'm burning the candles at both ends. Bitter betrayal, skeleton keys, houses to haunt. This is the end of the line, the devil driver. So, yeah. So, this person is, is being judged here. If they have a partnership, a business, or something like that, somebody works with the devil. Okay, this could be figuratively or literally. Okay, so they need to clear that stagnant energy. Somebody, somebody is, they have a personality disorder. This is somebody that may even feel like they are you or above you. Okay, but for, for the most part, this person, um, they, they're dis, they're disassociated from their heart space here. Okay, so this is somebody that really doesn't care, um, uh, you know, that they're in a unrequited love situation or they really don't care that they're hurting and harming you. For some of you, this could be somebody's ex-wife. If you are male, this is somebody that you have children with, partner. They could have gotten remarried. Shit could be worse. Why is this here? Somebody definitely having health issues. No bad vibes. Yeah, so for some of you, this is a child's father. This is somebody that may have wanted to be uh, uh, an emperor. 
This person is wandering aimlessly, focused on the mund and uh, mundane aspects of life, the calm before the storm. They know that a storm is about to hit. They could be, you could be in a storm, actually. But they, they're, they're possibly on the run. This could be child support they're running from. Okay, they're running from their secrets coming out. Okay, they're, yeah, they got a lot of bills. Okay, somebody's being investigated by the IRS. They could have tried to falsely report you or something like that. But, you know, when you reach a certain level, you already notice things that you can do and you can't do. You have to protect your assets. You have to protect your, your throne here. Okay, so now this person is realizing who or what you are. Okay, so somebody's seeing things from a fresh perspective. You are somebody that has knowledge of other worlds or they know that you have celestial coverage, celestial beings. Okay, so there's a new uh, adventure about to begin for you. Despite these people trying to come up against you, you just have to keep, you have to control your anger here. So somebody wants to speak some sort of truth here. For some of you, this is a soulmate. This is somebody that you have children with. This could be a father. This could be the father or a father figure, a brother, a uncle or something in your family or the person's family that's attacking you. This person had an out-of-body experience, okay, because they sent out some negative energy. And I'm trying to tell you, okay. That shit went back. You could be seeing 333, 444, or something like that. Somebody's depressed. And I'm being guided to end it there. Deuces.